In this video, we're going to be performing a deep dive on United Technologies Dividend Safety. To begin, let's talk about United Technologies' business model. United Technologies is a commercial aerospace and defense company. The company was founded in 1934 and employs more than 200,000 people around the world. The company has a market cap of more than $108 billion and generates nearly $67 billion in annual revenues. United Technologies announced on November 26 that it had completed its $30 billion acquisition of Rockwell Collins. At the same time, the company announced that it would be spinning off its Otis and climate controls and security businesses into two separate independent entities. Otis will retain its name, and Climate Controls and Security will take the name of Carrier. Following the spinoffs, United Technologies will be composed of two divisions, Pratt & Whitney, which manufactures and services engines for commercial and military customers, and Collins Aerospace Systems, which creates aerospace and industrial products. Investors may not be familiar with United Technologies' dividend growth, but the company has a very impressive record in this area. After increasing its dividend 5% for the payment made this past December, United Technologies has now increased its dividend for the past 25 years. This dividend growth streak makes the company a member of the Dividend Aristocrats Index, a group of elite dividend stocks with more than 25 years of consecutive dividend increases. Looking ahead, Investors counting on income will want to know if United Technologies' future dividend payments are safe. For the remainder of this video, we will discuss the company's current dividend safety from four perspectives. One, its dividend safety in the context of its current earnings. Two, its dividend safety in the context of its current free cash flow. Three, its dividend safety in the context of its recession performance. 4. Its dividend safety in the context of its current debt load. First, let's discuss United Technologies' dividend safety in the context of the company's current earnings. When United Technologies announced full-year results on January 23rd, the company reported that it generated earnings per share of $7.61 in 2018. For context, United Technologies paid $2.84 of common share dividends during the same time period for a payout ratio of 37.3%. Using earnings, United Technologies' dividend appears very safe for the foreseeable future. Many analysts believe that comparing a company's dividend payments to its free cash flow is a better method for assessing dividend safety. Accordingly, we will now compare United Technologies' current dividend payment to its free cash flow. In 2018, United Technologies generated $6.3 billion of cash from operating activities and spent $1.9 billion on capital expenditures for free cash flow of $4.4 billion. The company distributed $2.2 billion of common share dividends during the same time period for a free cash flow dividend payout ratio of 50%. Using free cash flow, our conclusion is the same as when we used earnings to measure United Technologies' dividend safety. The company's dividend appears safe for the foreseeable future. Companies do not cut their dividends in good times. Instead, dividends are reduced when companies experience financial difficulties. Accordingly, this section will analyze United Technologies' current dividend safety in the context of the company's historical recession performance. We believe the best way to measure a company's recession resiliency is by measuring its earnings per share performance during the financial crisis that occurred between 2007 and 2009. United Technologies' performance during this time period is shown here. United Technologies' earnings per share declined by 19% peak to trough during the last recession. More importantly, the company's earnings continued to cover its dividend 
and United Technologies continued its streak of consecutive dividend increases. Accordingly, we have no concern about the company's ability to pay rising dividends during future economic downturns. The last angle that we will use to assess United Technologies' current dividend safety is by looking at the company's current debt level. More specifically, we will see how much the company's weighted average interest rate will need to increase before the company's free cash flow will no longer cover its dividend payment. In 2018, United Technologies generated $1 billion of interest expense and had $41 billion of debt outstanding for a weighted average interest rate of 2.4%. The following image shows how changes to United Technologies' weighted average interest rate would impact the company's dividend coverage as measured by free cash flow. As the image shows, United Technologies' weighted average interest rate would need to rise above the 10% level before its dividend would no longer be covered by free cash flow. Accordingly, we believe that United Technologies' debt level is unlikely to impact the safety of its dividend moving forward. Thank you for watching today's video, which performed a deep dive on United Technologies' current dividend safety. We invite you to subscribe to this channel and like this video, which will help more people discover Sure Dividends investor education efforts. If you're interested in learning more about our systematic approach to dividend growth investing, visit our website at www.suredividend.com.